Good morning. This is me Nafisa. In this video, I'll talk about hyperhomocystinemia. When we eat food, the proteins in the food is digested or broken down in our body to form amino acids. One of the amino acid is homocysteine. Remember, homocysteine is not found in foods, but homocysteine is formed in our body. Homocysteine is converted to another amino acid, methionine by vitamin B9 and vitamin B12. Vitamin B9 or more specifically folate which is available naturally in the foods and folic acid which is present in fortified foods or supplements. Both folate and folic acid are in the inactive form and must be converted to L-methylfolate the active form of vitamin B9 in the presence of an enzyme MTHFR. Full form of MTHFR is Methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase, also called as 5,10-methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase. Active form of vitamin B12 is methylcobalamin. L-methylfolate and methylcobalamin donate methyl group to homocysteine and because of this homocysteine is converted to methionine. Homocysteine plus methyl group forms methionine. Therefore, homocysteine is in low levels. Homocysteine in low levels is not harmful. Vitamins B9 and vitamin B12 play an important role in the metabolism of homocysteine. There is one more way of lowering homocysteine levels in the blood. How? Vitamin B6 plays an important role in the conversion of homocysteine to cystathionine. Vitamin B6 further converts cystathionine to cysteine. Here I am just showing as homocysteine to cysteine, but remember, Homocysteine gets converted to cystathionine and cystathionine gets converted to cysteine in the presence of vitamin B6. Cysteine, homocysteine and methionine are amino acids. So reframing the sentence, can I say, vitamin B6, vitamin B9 and vitamin B12 play an important role in the metabolism of homocysteine, thereby regulating homocysteine levels in the blood. In human body, Nearly all homocysteine is converted quickly to either methionine or cysteine and only very little amounts of homocysteine remains in the blood. In a healthy person, homocysteine levels are around 5 to 15 micromoles per liter. If there is a deficiency of vitamin B9 and vitamin B12, then homocysteine is not converted to methionine. If there is a deficiency of vitamin B6, then homocysteine is not converted to cysteine. Hence, homocysteine increases in the blood. Hence, results in high levels of homocysteine in the blood. High levels of homocysteine in blood is harmful. Homocysteine is an amino acid. Low levels of homocysteine is not harmful for the body. Low levels of homocysteine means vitamin B6, vitamin B9 and vitamin B12 are present in the body. High levels of homocysteine means there is a deficiency of vitamin B6, Deficiency of vitamin B9 and deficiency of vitamin B12. High levels of homocysteine is harmful for the body. Why? Because high homocysteine levels has been linked to many health problems. Let's go ahead. High levels of homocysteine in the blood. High levels in Hindi is called as atyadhik, is called as hyper. High levels of what? High levels of homocysteine. Where is high levels of homocysteine present in the body? High levels of homocysteine is there in the blood. Blood in medicine is called as emia. When there is high levels of homocysteine in the blood, this condition is called as hyperhomocysteinemia. Pronounce it as high per homocysteinemia. Hyperhomocysteinemia. What would cause increase in homocysteine levels in the blood? Most common causes of hyperhomocysteinemia are deficiency in specific vitamins that is vitamin B6 deficiency, vitamin B9 deficiency and vitamin B12 deficiency. This is easy to understand. We learned before that human body needs vitamin B6, vitamin B9 and vitamin B12 to break down homocysteine. Hence, if there is a deficiency of vitamin B6, vitamin B9 and vitamin B12, it can cause homocysteine levels to increase in the blood. Sometimes people have hyperhomocysteinemia due to family history and genetics. Remember I told you in one of the previous slides that MTHFR is an enzyme that converts inactive folate and inactive folic acid 
to active form of vitamin B9 which is L-methylfolate. If there is genetic defects in MTHFR enzyme, then folate taken in the form of foods or folic acid taken through fortified foods or through supplements is not converted to active form of vitamin B9. That is, L-methylfolate, therefore methyl group is not added to homocysteine and hence homocysteine is not converted to methionine. This increases the level of homocysteine in the blood leading to hyperhomocysteinemia. MTHFR gene defects or MTHFR gene mutation is one more common cause of hyperhomocysteinemia. However, high homocysteine is not always a sign of any serious problem or any medical condition. Sometimes people have hyperhomocysteinemia due to increasing age. Homocysteine levels increases with age. Males are more likely to have higher levels than females. Physical inactivity, smoking, excessive alcohol consumption may all result in increased plasma levels of homocysteine. Intake of animal protein in the diet causes hyperhomocysteinemia. Now this is very interesting. How does intake of animal protein in the diet cause hyperhomocysteinemia? Methionine is present in foods such as beef, red meat etc. Remember I told you homocysteine is not found in foods but is formed in the human body. Now the question is, how is homocysteine formed? Homocysteine is formed from methionine. Dietary methionine is metabolized in the liver to form homocysteine. This homocysteine is either converted to amino acid cysteine in presence of vitamin B6 or homocysteine gets converted back to methionine in the presence of vitamin B9 and vitamin B12. When methionine rich foods are consumed more and if there is deficiency of vitamin B6, vitamin B9 and vitamin B12, then this may lead to increased blood levels of homocysteine or hyperhomocysteinemia. Other causes are homocysteinuria, which is rare inherited disorder that interferes with the body breaking down methionine, thereby leading to accumulation of homocysteine in the blood. Psoriasis, kidney disease, hypothyroidism or low thyroid hormone levels. Certain medications such as proton pump inhibitors, metformin, methotrexate, anti-epileptic drugs, etc. Hyperhomocysteinemia itself does not have any symptoms, but if develops due to deficiency of vitamin B6, vitamin B9 and vitamin B12, then the common symptoms of vitamin B6, B9 and B12 deficiencies include dizziness, fatigue, shortness of breath or breathlessness, muscle weakness, weakness, pale complexion, pale skin, mouth sores, tongue swelling or glossitis, numbness or tingling sensations like pins and needles in the hands, arms, legs or feet, growth problems, mental confusion or forgetfulness. How can hyperhomocysteinemia be diagnosed? Blood test easily measures how much of homocysteine is there in the bloodstream. Based on the test results, Healthcare provider can recommend the best treatment option. A high protein meal can significantly increase homocysteine levels. Therefore, fasting throughout the night before a blood test is recommended to ensure the most accurate results. Normal homocysteine levels in the blood are usually from 5 to 15 micromoles per liter. If homocysteine levels are above this, a person has hyperhomocysteinemia. Hyperhomocysteinemia is categorized as moderate, if from 16 to 30 micromoles per liter, intermediate, if from 31 to 100 micromoles per liter, severe, if from more than 100 micromoles per liter. If homocysteine levels are above normal in the blood, and that too for a long time, that is, if a person has moderate hyperhomocysteinemia or intermediate hyperhomocysteinemia or severe hyperhomocysteinemia, which is not treated for a long time, then prolonged exposure to hyperhomocysteinemia has serious health complications. Hyperhomocysteinemia causes serious health complications. Hyperhomocysteinemia has effects on the various systems of the body. Example, cardiovascular system, reproductive system, nervous system, endocrine system, skeletal system. Persistent hyperhomocysteinemia also has effect on sensory organ like the eye. Persistent hyperhomocysteinemia increases risk of inflammation. 
Chronic inflammation in the body can lead to arthritis and cancer. Consistent high levels of homocysteine affects cardiovascular system, therefore increases risk for atherosclerosis, cardiovascular diseases, heart attack and stroke. High homocysteine levels in the blood damages the lining of arteries. Artery damage can lead to atherosclerosis. High homocysteine may also make the blood clot more easily than it should. Once the blood clot is formed, this can slow the normal blood flow and even break loose and travel to any organ. If blood clots travels by the bloodstream and if stuck in the arteries of heart, then increases the risk of heart attack. If blood clot travels to the brain, leads to stroke. Consistent hyperhomocysteinemia affects reproductive system, therefore causes infertility and increases risk of pregnancy complications. Hyperhomocysteinemia affects nervous system, leading to increased risk of depression, dementia, epilepsy and Alzheimer's. Hyperhomocysteinemia affects endocrine system, leading to diabetes. Hyperhomocysteinemia affects skeletal system, causing osteoporosis. Hyperhomocysteinemia affects sensory organ like the eye, causing age-related macular degeneration. Age-related macular degeneration is a common disorder causing vision loss, mostly in people older than 50. Macula is a small spot near the middle of retina, which is necessary for clear vision. Summarizing, can I say that? Hyperhomocysteinemia causes serious health complications by increasing risk for atherosclerosis, cardiovascular diseases, heart attack and stroke, infertility, pregnancy complications, also increases risk of depression, dementia, epilepsy, Alzheimer's, diabetes, osteoporosis, age-related macular degeneration, arthritis and cancer. Vitamins B6, vitamin B9 and vitamin B12 play an important role in regulating homocysteine levels. Hence, supplementation of vitamin B6, B9, B12 is effective and safe in reducing homocysteine levels in the blood. Therefore, may reduce the progression of early atherosclerosis, reduces risk of heart diseases, heart attack and stroke, improves fertility, reduces risk of pregnancy complications. Diet rich in vitamin B6, B9 and B12 helps reduce homocysteine levels in the blood. Therefore, decreases chances of depression, increases concentration, decreases risk of epilepsy, promotes brain health, reduces risk of Alzheimer's, decreases risk of diabetes, osteoporosis. Supplementation of vitamin B6, B9 and B12 prevents vision loss from macular degeneration. Supplementation with vitamin B6, B9 and B12 may treat inflammation associated with arthritis and cancer. Let's learn the treatment of hyperhomocysteinemia. Treatment for hyperhomocysteinemia will depend on the underlying cause. Common cause of hyperhomocysteinemia is because of deficiency of vitamin B6, B9 and B12. Hence homocysteine levels can be lowered in the blood or normalized by giving vitamin B6, B9, B12 either through foods that is green leafy vegetables, flax seeds, pineapple, bananas, oats, dates, peanuts, oranges and orange juice, strawberry, nuts, seeds, lemons, grapefruit, dairy products, eggs, sardines, codfish, salmon or by giving fortified foods or supplements in the form of vitamin supplements containing B6, B9 plus B12 daily. Supplementation of vitamin B6, B9, B12 is effective and safe in reducing homocysteine levels. Moreover, dietary and lifestyle changes can also help reduce hyperhomocysteinemia, which includes exercise, avoid methionine-rich foods like red meat, quit smoking, reduce or stop alcohol consumption, eat a well-balanced and healthy diet. Proper treatment along with dietary and lifestyle changes helps to ensure a higher quality of life. Thank you very much. Stay blessed.